Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. This is uh, the first video in a series I'm going to do on redoing this truck. This is a 1987 359 Peterbilt Classic. It is uh, number 306 of 359. Uh, I bought this truck in 2018 from a guy that used to work with me over at a company we were leased to. And uh, I'm the third owner of this truck. Randy, Randy, the man I bought it from, bought this truck in 2000. Uh, he bought it in 1998, excuse me, uh, from a man, the original owner. This truck had uh, 850,000 miles on it in 1998 when Randy bought it. So it was 11 years old then. And uh, Randy ran it, ran it hard at first, you know, like everybody do, paid, paid it off and and then uh, he decided to, he wasn't going to run so hard after it was paid off. In the last 10 years this truck ran, uh, he didn't run it that hard. It, uh, it's probably got a little over a million five on it now. It's, we don't really know anymore because he changed the speedometer out 160,000 miles ago and put a 100 mile, 120 mile an hour speedometer in it. So it's it shows 135,000 on the... 100, yeah, 135,000, excuse me, got that wrong, 135,000 on the speedometer. But he uh, he said it's it's probably got a million five on it. I, I bought this truck from Randy in 2018, and uh, I ran it for a couple months, but uh, I found it was just a little more uncomfortable than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I don't know if the truck's too small or I'm too big, but something happened in the last 30 years. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, between the insurance and the uncomfortableness of driving it, I decided to go ahead and keep my 389 and uh, park this thing until the day that I could fix it and uh, make it something more comfortable for myself. So that's what we did, and here it is now, March uh, 2023. There's my number tag right there. Shows you the, it's number 306 of 359. There was only 53 of them made after this one. I mean, there's a there's a handful of uh, classics that don't have numbers on them, but for the most part, they all got numbers on them. And so this one here is really close to the end of the run. So uh, my plan is is to uh, make this thing a little more comfortable and uh, do some beautification projects to it and make it a little more beautiful. We've uh, We've stripped it down a little bit here today. We're going to take it to the frame shop. Going to have it stretched. Right now it's 260 inch wheelbase. That's what it came from the factory, 260. And we're going to stretch it out a little bit and make it a little longer, a little leaner. I know that's going to upset the purists out there <laughs> that want the numbered classic that's a purebred. But uh, this one here is uh, almost every mechanical part on this truck has been changed out at least two or three times. The motor's been rebuilt three times. Transmission's been done. Rear ends have been done. I mean, it's still it's still a numbered classic, but it, uh, as far as original condition, it's you know it's it's used. So, and everybody that I've talked to in the business, and especially the guys that are love these classic 359s, said you know take this thing and if you're going to run it, fix it the way you want to, and they'll they'll always be a guy that will want it when you get done with it and uh, so that's what we're going to do we're going to stretch it we're going to put a big hole in it where i can get through the into the sleeper we're going to put an air ride front axle kit on it an apu a refrigerator redo the interior and uh i don't know i hadn't decided yet if we're going to repaint it or not but i think we're going to repaint it even though that paint on there is pretty and it still looks pretty good. I think I, I want, instead of being three colors like it is, you know, blue, silver with black frame, I think I want to stretch it down to make it two colors. Make the frame all blue and keep the silver accent. Just make it two colors instead of three colors. I think it'll look a little better. But anyway, uh, that's where we're at today. So this is the first one. And uh, every time we do something, I'm going to catalog it on YouTube so that I've got it for my records. And uh for the world to see because these numbered classics are are not that many of them out there anymore uh, although i will say this before i stop this video it's amazing after signing up for the register that uh 
this truck as old as it is that uh, there's still 200 of these trucks registered on the registry which is I think just absolutely amazing after 36 37 years that uh, there would still be this this truck was such a good truck that there's still 200 of the last 359 still alive so that's a it's quite a testament to this 359 classic so I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, enjoy the videos to come and uh, try not to cry too much because we're going to tear it up a little bit at first but by the time we get done with it it will be a fine ride good day